Hello everyone, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a time-stamped reading here focused on the Divine Masculine and their current feelings for you. So let's go ahead and get into the messages here, guys. General advice as always. I'll be pulling dialogue from my Thinking Man Oracle deck, Volume 2, as well as the Valentine Connection Oracle for all intents and purposes of this reading. The Divine Masculine energy will be focused on a masculine male energy because divine masculine can be male or female energy so that's what we're focusing on here and hopefully something here resonates with you so let's get into it guys starting with number one if you chose number one let's grab some words here focusing on your divine masculine's current feelings for you and the connection and we'll of course clarify with some tarot messages as to what's going on. So what are their current feelings? What do they want to say right now? Okay, and then let me grab one for the other deck. So it already says our soul connection scares me. Let's grab one from here. All right, so this is what they are currently wanting to say to you. Our soul connection scares me. I've never felt these intense emotions in my heart space before. I'm not sure I'm ready. And then I am so in lust with you. So this is what I'm getting for this Divine Masculine for number one. As far as the intimacy, the sexual chemistry, the physical connection, they can handle that, no problem. When it comes to their heart space, however, that's a whole nother story and it scares them to be able to possibly commit to be tapped into their emotions that's what i'm feeling here so let's go ahead and grab some tarot to clarify this i'll be pulling from my valentine connection tarot for number one they could also be afraid of commitment all right here we go for number one the divine masculine Look at this Knight of Swords, and then we have the Sun. We've got the Chariot, Knight of Cups, Three of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. So all of these cards are pretty positive for the most part. I feel Divine Feminine, you could be dealing with either an Air Sign Divine Masculine, so Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or even Water Sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but it could be any sign ultimately. So you guys have the capability for happiness here. We do have the sun, the chariot, of course, representing a very positive, triumphant energy there. We've got a celebratory vibe right there with the three of cups, giving you guys the opportunity for a new beginning in love. It's like hitting the reset button, you know, but the knight of swords, they are impulsive as we can see right there. And sometimes they get easily bored in partnerships, especially if, for example, it's just not as exciting as it was in the beginning, or if they find that they just don't have enough in common with you. You know, the whole lust reference, the sexual chemistry, those intimate adventures that they've had, that is all exciting and fun. But then once it's tapped into, as we can see, these intense emotions, this is somebody who's not ready for that, you know? So I feel ultimately you might have been dealing with somebody who was non-committal in that way. But through the progression, we do see here that it's possible that they want to be able to bring the romance in. That's a part of the direction that they want to go. This right here could represent a new beginning in love for the two of you, where you can celebrate love coming back together. And they're telling you here, you're masculine. This right here, giving and receiving, it's about equality. So they're fully invested now. That's at least what it is that they would like to offer. You know, so even though at one point in time they were not ready, it does seem here that they're ready to take it to a more serious involvement in a relationship here. That's how it's coming through for number one. All right, so... Sexual chemistry, not an issue. It's here. It's just the commitment towards love and a relationship that they had an issue with. So you guys can find happiness here. 
very romantic. Okay, so I'll leave that there. That's number one. All right, guys, so let's move on to number two, focusing on the divine masculine. So let's grab some words here. Divine masculine. You will always be my baby. And then we'll grab one from the Valentine Connection Oracle. Their current feelings. You possess all the qualities in a life partner that I've been yearning for, searching for. Be my Valentine forever. Such beautiful cards. All right, so let's grab some tarot here. I'll be pulling from my tarot teacher, the revised edition. So if they want you to be their forever Valentine, let's see what energies are surrounding that. Because sometimes, even though you might possess all of the qualities in a life partner that they've been looking for, all of these realizations might not have happened while you guys were together. So we'll see. Ten of Swords. So this was a relationship that fell apart. More than likely, you severed ties with this person, with this masculine. It failed. Something happened here. Maybe they betrayed your trust. There could have been infidelity here. Five of Swords. You probably walked away from this masculine divine feminine. Especially if there was infidelity here, I feel. Or if they betrayed your trust. It doesn't have to be infidelity, but I feel that here for some of you. That's probably why you walked away. They could have created some sort of situation here that was complicated. Created conflict between the two of you. They could have been sneaking around. We have nines popping up. Look at this. We've got the nine of cups, nine of swords. So... Nine and Ten of Swords, not the easiest energy to deal with because this can be very traumatic. You know, this could be what they're going through as a result of the betrayal. And there's a part of them that now realizes that you could have ultimately represented that dream come true for them. Everything was great when you guys were together. It was a wish come true. But it's one of those things where they still decided to create some drama here. You probably walked away from this masculine divine feminine. They think about, they think a lot about you. I feel especially at night with that nine of swords energy, nightmares, depression. Maybe they made some poor choices here or they were entertaining other options when it comes to love and romance here. But what they are telling you now is they are ready for commitment. They are feeling that you guys still belong together. You know, you will always be my baby. You possess all the qualities I've been yearning for, searching for. But the reality of number two is that they felt perhaps that the grass was greener on the other side. You know, that they could find something way better than what you guys had. So at this point, if you resonate with this one, you probably have chosen to go a different way, a different path to be able to find commitment elsewhere. But what they're feeling here is that they would love to perhaps revisit this partnership, give them a chance to make different choices to prove to you that they are ready to commit to this. But as we can see here with the world card, you know, this is a cycle that completed more than likely a partnership that came to an end because of infidelity or some other challenges that were going on here you know, and this paves the way for new cycles to come in. And perhaps Divine Feminine, if you chose this one, you're committed elsewhere or to someone else at this point. I feel number two falls on the Divine Feminine to decide whether or not this can actually happen. You're not waiting for this masculine to return. You're kind of doing your own thing. You're focused on you. But we do see here with the Wheel of Fortune that there's the opportunity for things to get better, to improve. This does represent destiny, good luck, good karma. 
They know that in order to win you back, they're going to have to make some major changes for this to happen. They want this new beginning with you, Divine Feminine. They still feel this attraction and the spark with you. You will always be my baby. Things they didn't realize perhaps until after you were no longer a part of their life. So if you are willing to give your masculine another chance to return, if you chose this one, you can have it. Because I feel at the end of the day, that's what they're hoping and wishing for. Okay, so that is number two. All right, so let's grab another. So for number three, if you chose number three, let's see what that message is. Number three, focusing on the Divine Masculine's current feelings for the Divine Feminine. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now, I got to say, I just happened to glance at the bottom of the deck. And it says, I'm married. Take that if it makes sense for number three. Okay, you could have been dealing with somebody who was married. If we take that out of the equation, that simply is an acknowledgement from your masculine. They're saying yes to something. All right, let's grab another message to go along with that one. I fantasize about you more than I care to admit. We can't ignore this intense attraction between us. Okay, so yes, yes, yes. I'm really attracted to you. I fantasize about you. That's what that's saying. So let's go ahead and grab some tarot. I'll be pulling from my Luna tarot this time. Angels and spirit guides, please. For number three. Focusing on the divine masculine their current feelings. So here's the thing. If they are fantasizing about you, they're not with you. Because they are focused more so on the fantasies. It's, it's in their head. Their thoughts. And maybe you are just as attracted to this masculine. Maybe you fantasize about them too. Look at this. We've got the Ace of Wands. Growth, potential, the opportunity to create something amazing <laughs> in this relationship. We do have the sun, two of wands, ten of pentacles, six of pentacles. Okay, so all of these cards are pretty positive. There is the opportunity for real happiness here in this partnership. There can be progress that's made to get things out of the fantasy world and bring it into the 3D. Ten of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a masculine who is established. They could be very successful in their career. Their finances looks good. This right here, too, when it comes to romance, they feel that you guys are a perfect match. That you would be their ideal mate. That's how they see you. They feel this strong connection to you. And as it says, we can't ignore this intense attraction between us. So this could be a mutual thing. And it's picking up off of the Six of Pentacles too, because this is equality. This is two people who want the same thing. Equal give and take. You guys are on the same playing field right here. They have this, You have the same vision as to what it is you both are wanting in this partnership. Look at this, and now you've got the star. Amazing. So wish fulfillment as far as being able to have everything that you could have ever wanted in love and romance when it comes to this partnership. Number three has it all. I mean, everything. It all comes together. And if, for example, you guys are at a distance from each other, you're in separation, there's the opportunity for a new beginning for you guys to be able to really ha hit that reset button, start fresh, start over, be really happy together, and have all of your goals and wishes and dreams manifest here together. So that looks pretty good. I'll leave that one there. That is for number three. All right, guys, if you chose number four, let's get into it. Number four for the collective, focusing on the Divine Masculine and their current thoughts for you. Alright, number four. 
And if the one you chose does not resonate, you always have the option to choose another one. You know, and some folks just watch the whole thing and take bits and parts of it that resonate with them. All right, number four. Ooh, that one's got a lot to say. Let's grab one more. This person wants a rewind button. I miss being in your arms. Okay. So there's something that they miss about being with you. I wish life had a rewind button so I can fix us. So I can tell you all the things I wanted to say, but never did. So I can hold you in my arms. Whoa. Whoa. And never let you go so i can make us right once again there's something about being in each other's arms maybe you both miss that and they really wish they could redo things here and fix things between the two of you so let's grab some tarot for number four i'll be pulling for my tan yellow tarot for this one angels and spirit guides please for whoever chose number four they miss you I feel you miss them. This masculine really wants to fix things. They, they really see a future with you. Ace of Wands, they see the potential. So this is something that can still bloom and grow into something amazing in the future. It doesn't have to be the end, you know. They are willing to get this moving already. Look at this. Two eights. Eights represent change in tarot. A part of achieving this goal to be with you is that they're willing to do anything and everything to create this amazing life with you. And they want to get things moving rather quickly so you guys can be together. Look at this. We've got tens popping up now. Amazing. So the cycle of change if you guys have, for example, run into some challenges in your relationship, because if you, you guys are missing each other, then there's distance and time apart here. But harmony can be restored through a new beginning. You guys might end up getting married someday. Things can finally start going in the right direction for this connection. This is good luck with that wheel of fortune. So maybe that stroke of luck is what you need in order for you and your masculine to work this out and really manifest all of these dreams that the two of you have together when it comes to the relationship. That looks amazing. All right, so I'm going to leave that one there. So that's number four. Let's grab number five here. I really like number four. That was nice. All right, so number five. If you chose number five... the message here the, the divine masculine's current feelings be with me okay so this masculine really wants you to be with them divine feminine so let's grab a message a second message for number five i am so crazy in love with you be with me wow Okay, well, let's grab some insight here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from my Celestial Cosmos Tarot. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for number five. They're in love with you. They want to be with you, which means they're not with you currently. And they're telling you that here. So what's going on with number five? We've got the star. Some of you guys could be focused on an Aquarian here. You could be the Aquarius. So they see you, Divine Feminine, as somebody that they really want to be with, crazy in love with you, as we can see. You inspire them somehow, okay? You are an inspiration to this masculine. You represent that wish come true. Look at these cards, my goodness. The sun and the magician. Some of you guys could be Leo, Gemini, or even Virgo. That's represented here. Ooh, this is really nice because this right here is manifestation of this love connection. You guys really have the capability to be very happy here. This can be a rekindled partnership for those of you who are in separation. 
And it really does come down to the two of you working very hard to be able to manifest this, to make this happen. The magician is here giving you guys the necessary tools to manifest this union. And then we've got the Knight of Cups. So when it comes to this Divine Masculine, my goodness, they're coming in as a very romantic lover, a very romantic person that can really sweep you off your feet, Divine Feminine. So they are truly believing here that this is a situation, a connection, a very special love connection that can blow, blow, <laughs> that can bloom and grow into something amazing. That's what happens when you've got two words that you want to say together. Bloom and grow turns into blow. Hilarious. So that's what's coming through there, guys, for number five. All right, so let's move on to number six. <laughs> Sometimes I swear. It's like, okay, I want to say two things at the same time. Let me just combine words. <laughs> All right, so you chose number six. All right, let's grab some words here. Current feelings from the Divine Masculine for the Feminine for number six. Let me be your Prince Charming. Will you let your Masculine be your Prince Charming, Divine Feminine? All right, let's grab some words from here. I never knew true love until you. So this is a masculine who really cares for you and loves you. They they want to come in and sweep you off your feet. You know, be that knight that comes in very romantic. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some tarot. I'll be pulling from my tabby tarot teacher this time. Angels and spirit guides, please. For number six, for those who chose six. A masculine who never recognized or knew how much they loved you or who never recognized what true love was until you all right here we go so this one's wanting to come up in the reverse which is the four of pentacles in the reverse there's actually this energy of shedding old energy, releasing negative energy attached to this partnership. If it doesn't have anything to do with this partnership, then there's this need perhaps to just let go of the past and maybe prior heartbreak that you might have experienced. Or it could be the masculine who had a really tough road as far as being able to find that ideal mate. And here you are, Divine Feminine. You represent the one that they want to be with. And we do have the Ace of Pentacles. This is all about manifestation. You could have a masculine who is quite established in their career. Finances look incredible. But this right here is a solid offer of stability, of security, of even marriage and commitment. Okay, let's see what else. You know, that Four of Pentacles, it's somebody who's letting go of their fears. And just going for it. I really feel that that is the masculine, you know, really laying it on the line to tell you, Divine Feminine, how much you are cared for, how much you are loved. Let's see what else here. We do have the Three of Wands. We've got the Six of Pentacles. So this one keeps wanting to come up in the scenarios that have popped up for this reading. So this is about equality right here. This is about two people who want to share a life together. And whatever issues you guys might have run into, if this is your situation, your masculine wants to be able to look ahead to be able to plan a future with you. Okay, they recognize that they're going to have to give as much as they take from the relationship. We do have the world card right here. Okay. So this is about cycle completion. For me, whenever I see that, it's really allowing the past to phase out. It always reminds me of two doors, one representing the past, the other one representing a new cycle that could bring in change, that could really bring in so much more in your relationship, you know, where things really do fall into place and allowing things to really work out in the connection, you know. Let's see what else here. 
Look at this, and now we've got the Ace of Cups. Two aces popping up here for number six. Love, intimacy, the deep connection. This is a renewed partnership, a new beginning. Now, for some of you who chose number six, let's just say you're single right now. You're in between relationships. The Ace of Cups could represent a brand new love. So that could be what this masculine is wanting to manifest, a brand new love connection and it happens to be with you. Or this could fairly be a new connection, a new relationship. I never knew true love until you. So that is how they see you, Divine Feminine. Okay, so that's for number six. All right, let's grab one more, I believe. So we're up to number seven here. I think I'm going to go ahead and do eight scenarios. I don't know, I'm just guided to do eight. All right, so number seven, here we go. The masculine's current feelings for you, divine feminine. So if you chose number seven, let's get into it. Ooh, look at that. I love you. Don't we all want to hear that from our person, right? We've got two cards coming, so we'll take them. Your smile brightens my day. Your warm hugs calm my fears and anxieties when we're not together. So there's something that's very calming about your presence, Divine Feminine. Oh my. All right, well, let's go ahead and grab some tarot here. I'm, I'll be pulling from my Illuminated Star Tarot. This is Volume 2. I'm currently working on revising Volume 1 and 2, so it's not in stock right now. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some insight for number seven. We clearly see here that we have a masculine who loves you very much. But there's something to do with these fears and anxieties when you guys are apart. Maybe they're worried that you've already moved on to somebody else. That could certainly be the case for some of you guys. Okay, so we do have the Knight of Pentacles coming in. Slow and steady, hard working person, ready for commitment. Look at this. We've got the Ten of Cups and we've got the Two of Cups. I mean, these cards are beautiful, first of all. Love, marriage, and family. Happily ever after, dream coming true. That's all a part of the energy of the Ten of Cups. And it's right next to the Two of Cups. So this masculine really has taken the time to. Look into their heart and see that you're the one that they want to be with. And when you're not together, that's where these fears and anxieties play a role in what's going on with them. Maybe they're tripping out that they're not with you right now. There's something about your smile that really makes them very happy. So there could have been infidelity here. You know, this can represent deception with the moon and divine feminine. You're being directed to trust your intuition on this one. You probably walked away from this masculine, though. Even though they're telling you here, I love you, maybe there was infidelity here, and that could have been very challenging. You probably walked away. You left them behind. That's where those fears and anxieties are stemming from, because they know that they messed up here. Yeah, you probably let them go, Divine Feminine. They're really focused, though, on improving this situation, they want to move on from it. They know it's going to take time, though. They know that they're going to have to make better choices to make this work. They feel that you guys are perfectly matched up. They know that it's going to take time. They're willing to put in the work to make this happen. And I feel maybe career-wise, money-wise, they're doing very well. So that part of their life could be going great. But I feel for this masculine, it's meaningless that they're so successful without you. That's just how I'm picking that up. They want to release the past. They want to let it go. They want to move on. But at the end of that journey, Divine Feminine, this masculine really wants to be with you. And bottom of the deck, we've got the Three of Pentacles, which is all about teamwork. Okay? So maybe there was lack of teamwork for you guys before. But what they're telling you here, this masculine, they're going to work very hard to ensure that the future that you guys can build together actually looks very nice, very good. Willing to make different choices here. Okay, so this is one of those situations for number seven where they picture this amazing, beautiful life for the two of you. 
but it might come down to you being able to forgive them for something that happened before. All right, Divine Feminine. All right, so one more. Let's grab one more set of cards here, focused on the masculine. So number eight, the Divine Masculine's current feelings for the feminine. Okay. I have everything I could ever want in my life except you. Okay. There's no way I can live this life without you by my side. You're my happy place. Look at that. They have everything in their life, but you're not there. And they're telling you, basically, they can't live without you. That's what's coming through here. So it's already confirming for number eight. There is a separation here. Okay. All right. So last one. I'm pulling from my modern day Sears tarot and Oracle tarot with a twist which of course includes all of the traditional tarot messages, but this one includes new oracle messages as well as new court cards. All right, guys, so here we go. Something's missing, and that something that is missing is you, Divine Feminine. You're missing because you probably cut this masculine out of your life. Wow. Two of Wands. This is another situation where there could have been there could have been a situation where there was an affair, secrets, lies, deception. We've got the moon. So a lot of the same cards that came through for seven are presenting itself here. Wow. High priestess, divine feminine, tower, upheaval, chaos. They're feeling lost. They're feeling sad without you. That's why it's coming through there. I have everything I could ever want in my life except you. And they know that in order to create progress in this situation, they need to make different choices, different decisions. They want to be able to make progress in this partnership. But whatever happened, it brought you guys off balance and they needed to really gain clarity over what to do. This right here can represent karmic justice as well. There's this need to balance the scales because of this with the energy of the moon, you know, they might have kept things from you, basically, Divine Feminine. And so you had to rely heavily on your intuition as to what was going on. Because the Divine Priestess is about the Divine Truth here, right? So you had to rely on your inner voice and your heart and your gut. And that might have ultimately created this Tower moment, especially if something came to light that was negative, that was challenging, for this partnership and Divine Feminine, you probably cut them out. What is needed in this relationship is collaboration for you guys to work together to build the partnership, not tear it down. Here's the drama. Seven of Swords, deception and lies and cheating. So can't get around that one, guys. It's, it's coming through here. That's why you guys parted ways because there was a very drama packed situation here and we've got the sun which of course represents a very happy vibe fulfillment a very positive energy very successful so this masculine wants union possible marriage as well like long-term commitment you are their happy place here's the happy place with the energy of the sun so they know that they're going to have to work very hard to make this happen. The Knight of Pentacles is that type of person. Loyal, responsible, but very slow moving because they know they messed up before. They don't want to make the same mistakes. And they know that, you know, perhaps they're feeling weak or afraid at this point in time. This is exactly what they need to tap into to be brave and courageous to do the right thing. And then we have the Ore of Fire. So this card says, it's time to get moving. Follow your passions, goals, and dreams that light a fire under your feet and propel you forward in life. You've sat on your laurels for long enough. So many opportunities are presenting themselves to you. Pay attention and take advantage of all these amazing blessings. Take no action and miss out. It's your choice. So this is really speaking to the masculine you know, if they're really feeling very passionate about this connection, as we can clearly see here, then they can't be sitting on their ass doing nothing. They have to actually get going, get moving, 
to be able to bring you guys back together. All right, guys, so I will leave number eight right there. Hopefully there's something here out of all these eight scenarios that I tapped into that makes sense for you and your situation with your masculine. If not, no big deal since these are general readings and hopefully I'll be able to tap into your situation next time. That's it for now, guys. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below as well as the action buttons at the end of this video. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.